why you wait, just you and me I need a little break from the city It's been so long since we've been gone What is up, guys? Welcome back to 86 Ambrosia. It's your girl, Jen. That's with one J and two N's, and this is my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here and this is your first time ever clicking on a vlog by your girl, Jen, welcome and thank you so very much for clicking on that thumbnail that brought you into this small space makeover where I am transforming my office into the perfect clothes or office slash closet. So guys, if you've been rocking out with your girl Jen for quite some time, then you know that this is a space where I film about 90% of my try on hauls and fashion vlogs. However, I am making over this space to create a bright luxury inspired closet that will also serve as my office. Um, I have set a budget of $1,000. So I'm so super excited to see if I'm able to indeed make over this space, stay on budget, and get my vision executed. So with that guys, let's get started. So guys, this is the first day and I'm receiving about 90% of my order from Ikea. I waited for close to about four months to place my order because the pieces, you know, would be out of stock. You would get one major piece over here and then two of the other major pieces would be out of stock and then vice versa. And the delivery fee for Ikea, because you can't pick up the major pieces out of their warehouse, is for my location $400. So I had to make sure that I kept checking the stock's availability, seeing where everything would be in. That way I could purchase everything or as much as I could at one time. Thankfully, I'm only waiting for three small pieces and the delivery on that was only about 10 bucks. So it is day three of this project and I have completely painted this new closet space in the Sherwin-Williams Pure White Superior Paint in eggshell with acrylic latex. I am so super excited because I painted this space myself completely on my own. And not only did I get it like almost damn near perfect, I also did not get any paint on the floors as you can see. Also guys, I used a high gloss pure white to repaint the baseboards and the quarter round. These are the colors that I'm going to use throughout my home. However, I'm just focusing on this space right now. Now I waited about three to four days to ensure that the paint was completely dry before I went back and picked up on this project. But in the meantime, my stepdad and I went ahead and assembled my new Ikea wardrobe system and I'll show it to you once it's up and in this space. All right guys, so this is day five. Uh, I'm not doing a reveal yet because I'm not done of course, but I do want to just let you know where I am in this process. So this is my pack system. I have a medium, a large, and a small, which I'll give you all the specs on that once I have it all filled in and it's all decorated. But this is what it's looking like right now. Um, up here, I have some lights that I got from Amazon. Don't mind the Gucci boxes and the purses. I was just trying to see how I want to arrange everything. If I want to space these uh, shelves out more, if I want to raise up the glass and then raise up the, um, rail system here um so yeah so don't pay attention to those things right now quite yet but the point is is that okay up here you see i have that black cord there so what i'm actually in the process of working on today is this whole side over here so from target I have um, a set of shelves that I bought that are also white. These are floating shelves. These will go on the wall. But also what I got from Home Depot is this cord mate. Let me see if it'll focus. I got this cord mate and then this hacksaw. So what I'm going to do is basically cut these down to size. And this is what will go up into the um, pack system to cover the cord. So you won't even see it because it will be white, same color, and it will actually cover those cords. So that's something that has to be done. Another thing that has to be done with this pack system before we can say that it's complete is, um, 
You can do a lot of different things with your system if you want to make it look more like a built-in and that's including actually attaching it to the wall. Now this is not attached to the wall um, and I don't even know if I'm finished. If I get, not if, when I get a bigger house, I may decide, okay, I want to do another two systems added to this. So, you know, this is just like my starter three right now. It's the perfect amount for me. So my point is saying that is if you look right here, um, this is the closest that they'll touch at the top. So I have this seam running here, which of course, you know, you're going to have a seam because these are stack side by side however you shouldn't have a gap like this and so included in your ikea kit um is a set of his and her screws which will allow me to then join the pack systems together all the way at the top so that um there is no gap in between now what i was saying a minute ago is a lot of people will take like um quarter not quarter round what is it called molding crown molding and they will actually finish the entire top and the sides and make this look like a built-in but my reasoning for getting a pack system is not only because i wanted to transform this room into my very own closet but also another reason why I got this pack system is so that I can actually take it with me when I leave and move into my new place. And so I don't want to have these physically joined together to where I cannot take them when it's time for me to, you know, rent my first home out and go on to my next home. So that's what I want to say on that. Okay, so I wanted to grab my iPhone really quickly so you could see what I was talking about, about joining these two together so that the seams line up like they are supposed to. So I have my drill here. So what I did was I had to use my drill to drill a hole that would go through this entire piece of wood, come out, and then through this one on this side. And then as you can see, I used those his and her screws that I was telling you about to join these two pack systems together so that I won't get that seam down the front. Now I do have some minor imperfections on my pack system like right here. I don't know if we did this perhaps, you know, putting it together or maybe um, I got a nail appointment. <laughs> I got a nail appointment uh, tomorrow. So don't, don't judge my hands. By the time you see them again, they will be done. But um, I don't know if the we did that ourselves or um, if it came like that with these minor imperfections. But I so far counted four, one here, then this little chip here, and then right here, there's a little divot in the wood. So what I did do is I got some wood filler that's going to fill in these little divots here. And then I have some white paint. Um, that I used to paint the walls with that I'm just going to just go over so that there are no imperfections on my pack system. You know, once I take it down and I get ready to move it, it's probably going to happen again. So it's good to have those. Another imperfection is back here. And that was definitely something that was on me and my stepdad when he was driving the nails in that's holding the back end. This one here was too low. And it, you know, um, it tore right there. All right. And so voila, I have the shelves put up. It probably took me maybe, I want to say, start to finish 20 minutes. Didn't take me long at all. I have a system for hanging, you know, things on the wall, making sure that they are perfectly level. Let's see. Look at that. Leveled perfectly. Slight, guys, a little slight lean to the right. Just ever so slightly. Let's look at this one up top and see. Did I get this one perfect? Yeah, now that one is perfect. Yep, so I have hung the shelves. So super proud of myself. Got them up here. Got them perfectly leveled. And so, yeah, now all I need to do is the, is decide um, what decor I want to go over there, get my desk all organized. I was gonna get 
a white desk but as you can see the color scheme in um this space is chocolate so i'm not i didn't again i didn't want to get anything new so i'm using chocolate as my accent color in this space so that i wouldn't have to get another desk uh, and when i move i am going to get me another desk i want something that is white grand has glass to it but for right now this desk is absolutely perfect and i have it organized just lovely so i'm gonna put that back over there get this section um you know decorated put some decor over there And voila, after eight days, this space is 99% complete. Oh my gosh. I have attached the cases together. I removed all the stickers and the labeling. I have cleaned the glasses. I have vacuumed up all of the sawdust. I have arranged this room to my liking. I have reinforced the drawers. Um, let me see, what else did I do as I'm watching this back? Oh guys, I am so completely in love with how this space turned out. I stayed on a budget and I was able to execute on every aspect of my vision, especially by upcycling my desk and decor that I already had. Once my final touches arrive, I'm going to share another vlog with you guys on how I've organized and set up my wardrobe in my new office or office closet or closet office. But guys, I thank you so very much for catching this vlog here. And guys, I thank you for catching this vlog with me as I share with you how I was able to transform this small space in my home, <laughs> what I'm using right now in the meantime to create this gorgeous white on white with brown touches, little luxury room, office, clothes, you got it. <laughs> you got it, guys. So make sure that if you've enjoyed this vlog video, you go ahead and smash the like button. Also, guys, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And I will see you in my next vlog video. Bye, guys. I'm